Hey there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what this video is about. I, uh, I, I figured this out yesterday and I spent uh, like an hour experimenting with it. And I finally got a 100% clear on fine arts because that shit was that shit was giving me an aneurysm to do legitimately. Uh, so I wanted to share, you know, like everything I knew about it and how it works. But if, uh, if I put any real effort into the video, then they would just fix it before I, you know, actually got the video out. So um, yeah, so you know, uh, you got physics objects. You can interact with them. And if you stand on them and then try to pick them up, you will go through them. You won't. You won't. You'll stop colliding with them. Uh, you can kind of um, prop fly, like in Half-Life, where you just kind of spam jump and click a bunch. Um, but the key difference between this and Half-Life is that in Half-Life, when you pick something up, it'll snap to your cursor and stay there. But as you can see, there is like some kind of you know force applied to the object. And so that's that's really how this works. You're manipulating that force applied to an object. The other issue involves how weight is calculated. As you can see, I have this plank um, attached to this object and it's acting like it's very heavy, but that object is not actually very heavy. So I think that um, there is just some kind of issue with the math on, you know, doing checks for objects because in general, there is only one piece to any given thing. You know, this is just one piece, one object, so you only need to, you know, check collision once. But, you know, with planks, you can attach things to planks really easily. Um, or just two things hitting together. They are not one object, and so they don't have the same math applied to them. So, you can exploit that like this. Like this. <laughs> or... Like I just showed with the plank flying. I'm gonna call that plank flying because it is, because you're flying. I'd love to call it skateboarding or Tony Hawk shit or something like that, but this is really the most consistent way I've found to abuse this bug and we are going to make what I'm calling a board. Uh, you make a plank of any length on a surface, not the ground, because if you put a plank on the ground, that happens. <laughs> It goes inside the ground, and depending on what is underneath the ground, um, it will fall through the level out of the world. So you attach it to something, not the ground, and then just kind of break it close to the end. The shorter it is, I've found, the better it is for speed. And then you simply attach a control surface, and that's the whole thing. You just... <laughs> you stand on the main board, and then you grab the control surface, and then you just kind of move up. And it'll 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 go where you want, and you can kind of walk around on it too to make sure you don't actually fall off the surface. And then you point it really in the direction you want to go. And your main issues are it rolling in mid-flight, um, you falling off of it like that. I kind of it kind of like got ahead of me, or um, just kind of slipping off because the incline gets too much like that. Um, if because the piece will still you know, act like this because it's going fast. Like if I walk forward, so you can see it kind of kind of moves based on its motion. So if you're going fast, it'll generally try and stay horizontal. But um, <clears throat> if the angle gets too much, you won't be able to stand on it, and then it'll just it'll it'll just escape you. There are also some other stuff you can do, like um, on this on a board like this, you can. Wow because this does not just apply to loose physics objects like these plank boards. It also, you can also attach the planks to things so you can get these kind of fast motions. I've never really been able to like exploit it, but uh, you might be able to get some kind of, I tried to make like some kind of, I've tried to experiment with some kind of like way to like turn that into like a catapult to throw you but it's just, it's inconsistent and it's way slower than just walking up because uh, you're limited to this one plank length from from my testing. So you just, so um, the other thing about the boards is um, as far as how they're used, it is best 
in my experience, to have a very small board. And you really want that nice square stuff because it will just, you know, it'll just control a lot better and behave way more consistently. And it'll just be, it'll, it'll just be a lot less of a headache to use. Um, however, if you get a longer board, it might be better for learning. Even with the longer board, you still have to break it because, you know, you can't just, you can't just plop down a plank and call it a day. You gotta have one. Even with, and with this long board, you can, uh, you know, you can get places and it, it behaves a lot more like a, like a skateboard or something. It doesn't actually fly away because the, you know, it has a lot more weight, so it doesn't, it doesn't fly, it doesn't fly away. But they, the danger you get is running into stuff like I just ran into, and also you're not going to be able to get off the ground, which might be what you want, but, um, it's, I, I found that it's just better to have, um, <clears throat> if you, if you get a smaller board, you get more horizontal, uh, movement. Like here, let's just break it a little. Make it smaller. There we go. That's pretty small. So well, if you have a smaller board, there we go. You get way faster movement, and it's kind of scary. And that leads me into my next point with ramps. Um, you saw that at the beginning of the video. I built a ramp. However, um, unlike a vehicle, which needs a really, really shallow incline to drive up. If you want to plank fly up something, um, bouncing like I just did is a, it's not like a property of the boarding around. It's just a property of the fast movement of your character. So if you hit an incline while going fast, no matter like what the source, whether it's a vehicle or a board or like a plane or anything that goes fast, there's another point I was going to make. I'm now out of the map. <laughs> but um if you run into any kind of inclined surface you are just going to bounce off of it so you're going to want to you're going to want to avoid that because there's unless you're controlling it like with these like with these uh wood plank ramps that you can make but that I missed anyway because I went over them but unless you're unless unless you're going to control it there is just no point in doing that because like how are you going to predict or work around doing that you just kind of bounce and you you generally go up more than you go anywhere else um and the only and the other thing that you saw earlier was that i clipped directly out of bounds because you can go fast enough to you know get out of bounds i don't think that is ever going to be helpful i think that is straight up going to end any you know, any route or run that you're trying to do, but it is, you know, it is something to be careful about because you don't want to be in the middle of a run, having it go great, and then you overshoot and either end up directly into the skybox or you overshoot the speed and uh, don't actually collide with the thing that you were trying to interact with. So the last thing that I wanted to mention is that it is way more consistent to get and arc going um, a little bit up and then mostly down. Even though you can get a lot of height doing this, it is not very consistent. And the most consistent way to get height is to um, is still just to <laughs> you know be at a higher elevation. It's kind of like gliding um, or like um, like hang gliding. You know, you can get a little bit. Of upwards moment you can get a little bit of height at the start but in general it's best to do stuff like this uh, I mean I'm I messed it up but <laughs> it's still it's still better to go from there to there than it is to try and get you know from here to up there with a with a plank board because it's just is getting that height is just it's just it's just really inconsistent whereas it is way easier and more consistent to try and go for lateral momentum over vertical momentum see like i was able to get some height but really what i achieved there was distance so yeah that's that's uh pretty much everything i've learned that's all my tips and tricks so uh, go uh, unleash this on the world or something go very fast and then uh until uh, dennis fixes this of course 
And Dennis, if you're watching, please add a skateboard. That would be so fucking cool. Alright, uh, time to throw myself into the sun to end the video. Ugh.